Hello everyone, welcome to Sergeant Major Snow. My channel is about barbecue, food, cooking, and of course, eating. I'm not a professional, just a regular guy with a passion for food and cooking. For those that are new to my channel, if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe, and make sure to hit that notification bell to get notified every time I drop a new video. As for those returning, thank you, and it's good to see you back again. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, as I will read and respond to them all. And now, for today's episode. Kung Pao. Onions, green onions, yellow onions, white onions, whatever you got. Cut them up. I'll probably just fast forward through some of this part. Whatever side you want. Get up. Nothing. No rocket science. As thick and as thin as you want. I like onions, so I like adding a bunch to it. Spinach. I washed it. Literally just tear it. Good enough. It's going to shrink down to nothing anyway. Celery. I have some older pieces, so I just cut off the ends. Because again, why waste stuff? I like to cut this pretty fine. Because it does take a little while to cook. And again, we are doing this on the barbecue, so. Usually just split them to make it smaller. That's about it. And I always take a drink. It's important to stay hydrated. Normally I cook this on the stove top, but I want to barbecue it and to show that you can barbecue anything. Which is my starter. Dried chili peppers. I'm making quite a bit of Kung Pao, so we're going to use quite a bit of these. No big deal. Red Thai hot peppers. Throw them in. A little bit of chili spice. Very accurate measurements as you can see. It smells awesome. Peanuts. Why? Because I like peanuts. So obviously you got a peanut allergy, a nut allergy, you're not gonna have this. Extra virgin olive oil. Whack it to it. This is gonna go in the pan first. Fry it up. Crisp up, bring out some flavors of peppers. Then I'll add my other veggies. Then we'll add the chicken. Now we're going to make the sauce. I'll start with some jalapenos because I love them and I want this to be hot. Just a few. Get a bit of juice in there too. Perfect. Squirt of mustard, again all this regular Joe, no name stuff is all good. Squirt of this. A little bit of barbecue sauce is having a bullseye, doesn't matter. Just a little bit. Soy sauce, quite a bit of this. Right quarter, third of a cup. Sriracha, a little bit of this. A few tablespoons, a little bit of white wine, again wine goes with everything, and some normal hot sauce, this is a Walmart, no name brand, but a Frank's or something else, give that a good mix, yes I'm using a fork, why, because I got it right here, it smells delicious, a bit of cornstarch is a thickener. A 
I'll make this up as early as possible and I'll let it sit. I don't care if it's clumpy, I don't care if it's lumpy. I just want all the flavors together. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be some good Kong Pao. Then I'm going to cut the chicken. Here's a great big pack. 2.16 kilos. It doesn't really matter. My recipe doesn't really change on the, the volume. Just add a little bit more. Chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast. I kind of like Costco. I'm just going to cube it. You know, inch squares. I'm going to break it down more so later anyway when we're cooking it. Make some chunks. I'll probably just fast forward this and or play music because it's not very interesting watching me cut chicken. Here we go, we're all cut up now, and we'll get it on the barbecue. Okay, so here we go. Make sure the barbecue's on, fire it up. Medium, medium hot heat. Take my peppers, peanuts, chili powder. Usually I'm just doing the already dry chili peppers. Not that it's really a big deal. Very vibrant color. Just want to brown them up a little bit without burning them too bad. Usually I cook this in the house and the aroma just... I'm going to make a sneeze and cough because I like it hot. Can you ever smell it? it smells delicious by the way. I would cook this on my griddle, except the fact that I'm going to add the liquid sauce to it. I don't want it to flow away, so using duck oven again is a good, uh, a good alternative. But more so, whoa, look at that, she's bopping. Whoa. Turn the bad boy down. Uh, 
back of bed. I will fry this till it gets pretty sauteed pretty well. Uh, we'll come back when it's starting to add the chicken. Veggies are coming along nicely. Again, it's not something I normally cook outside, but why not try it? So please, if you have any ideas, any meals, something you don't want to try yourself, or maybe you're afraid to try, or just want to see someone else mess it up or do something really good, leave a comment down below. Let me know what it is. I have a running list of things that I am going to put on the channel. Uh, Trying different things, things that maybe you normally cook inside. Can you know? Is it possible to cook it outside, right, on a barbecue of some sort? Give it a bit of a stir. All right. Come along quite nicely. Okay, it hasn't been that long. Do you see the steam? That's pretty much what I want. Oh yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what it means by coffee. Jeez. She's gonna be good. Chicken. I put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on it again because I have it, I like it. This is gonna take a while. Just keep stirring it up. Put the lid on. Stir it up. It is going to shrink down the size. Excuse me. Now I'll add the hot sauce after this. I don't want to cook it before I add the sauce. I just want to get the outside all at least cooked somewhat. Just keep stirring it. Make sure it's down at medium. Nice and moist, which is what I want. I can stir that chicken up. You see it's, it's turning white, which is what I want. As it cooks, there's no rush. And then I want it to be juicy. Got to be cooked. Should be a slightly bigger pan for the amount of chicken, but like the normal person, you use what you got and you make it work. It smells delicious. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to let this cook a bit more before I add the sauce. That's how good. Oh, yeah. Nice and juicy. Coming along. Pretty much what I want. I don't want to see any raw chicken. I know it's still far raw on the inside. But that's pretty much all I want. my hot sauce mixture. I like my Kung Pao to be very hot. A lot of kick to it. Stir it up. Drop the temperature down, medium low. You can hear that, it's beautiful. Good thing about barbecue, and again, if I make a mess, well, it's all soft. So now, what my intent is, is just let it, let it simmer. Let it cook. It wasn't frozen chicken, so it won't take that long. Uh, just let it cook. Obviously, I'm not going to eat all this right away. I'll portion it off. I want to make a big batch. 
which is why maybe the cro uh, Dutch oven wasn't the best pan, but it's what I have. I like using a barbecue and again, make it work. Don't be afraid to experiment and try different things. So, cook it for a little bit. All I do is just split it, split the chicken pieces. You're gonna know right away if it's cooked or not. Yeah. Juicy. I'll let this boil just for a few more minutes. I'm gonna turn it right off and just let it sit. Let it thicken up a bit. And continue to cook as well, obviously. And just get all that flavor in there. I'm gonna add a bit more hot sauce. I really like it. Get it in you. Like I said, turn this off. Let it sit. Come back, you know, five, ten minutes. Give it a good stir again. Turn it back on. Low. And you're ready to eat. Calm down. It wasn't boiled. Nice and relaxed. Flavorful. Tasty. So I'm just going to bring it back to a boil and just let it sit. A couple minutes, turn it off, and that'll be it. Very easy, very simple. I wish you could smell it. Again, if you don't like hot, then I would definitely change the recipe. But it's hot, it's delicious. Yes, I had a piece, had to test it. Give it a few minutes, turn it off, and we're good to go. So I think this is going to conclude today's video because it's pretty simple. Again, just the idea of getting out there that you can barbecue pretty much anything that you can do inside, you can do outside. Because what do we have before ovens, right? Cooking over open fire. Same type of principle. All right? Be rustic, have fun, enjoy. Enjoy what you cook. Starting your smoke, out. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Sergeant Major Smoke. I just want to talk to you for a few minutes uh, about this video. It's a very short video, just to encourage people getting outside, people cooking. Like I said, I cook all year round. I love the barbecue. I love to cook over, you know, gas, charcoal, open fire, whatever. Love my cast iron, I love my barbecues. So I'm just trying to encourage everyone out there, give it a shot. Okay, it's worth a try. Uh, if you did like today's video, please like and comment. Uh, you have anything you want me to do? Want me to try? Put the suggestion down below. I have a running list that I am going to go through with the channel. And I'd like to get, you know, as many diverse ideas as I can. Just to give you the content that you like. Uh, so, again, thanks for everyone that subscribed and liked my videos. Uh, and commented. Please don't hesitate to do so. Have a good day. Sorry to make your smoke. Out.